I've taken a screenshot from our fill in the blank proof exercises. And I'm going to work it out essentially on digital paper. And then we can fill in the blanks on the actual exercise. So they tell us that BC is parallel to DF. So BC is parallel to DF. Figures not drawn to scale, fair enough. Then they tell us that angle CEF is congruent to angle BAC. CEF, so that's this right over here, is congruent to angle BA. Oh, sorry, right over here. CEF is congruent to BAC. BAC, so it's congruent to that over there. Then they tell us that CFE is congruent to ABC. Angle CFE, CFE is congruent to angle ABC. Angle ABC. All right. Then they tell us that segment CF is congruent to BC. CF is congruent to BC. All right. Then they tell us that BDE is congruent to ACB. Let's see. BDE, BDE is congruent to ACB. So that's that right over there. Then they tell us DE is congruent to AC. So DE. DE is congruent to AC. And then finally, they tell us that BED is congruent. Let me do that in a different color since I keep. So BED is congruent to BAC. B, B, let me make sure I get BED. So it's this angle right over here is congruent to BD, is congruent to BAC. BAC is this blue one over there. So we already have a marker for that. So I'll write the blue one. Just like that. So that's that piece of information as well. Now we're ready for the proof. Now, whenever you do any proof, it's good to know what you're trying to prove. So let's just cut to the chase and see where this proof actually goes. So the last statement of the proof, they say triangle BCA is congruent to triangle BCE because. And we have to figure out why we can say that based on everything that this proof has proven beforehand. But so we're essentially just proving that triangle BCA, triangle BCA, which is which is this triangle right up here. This is BCA. That it is congruent to triangle BCE. BCE is this triangle, this kind of downward pointing triangle. So this is what we're trying to prove. This, this is congruent to that right over here. This triangle is congruent to that triangle. So that's important to, to keep in mind. And all we know about these two triangles is that they share a side in common which is equal to itself by the reflexive property. But we don't have any other information. We're going to have to figure out uh, whether other sides are congruent, or maybe other angles, or something else in order to actually make this statement. So let's see what they've done in the proof. So first they make a statement. And we don't need to correct it, but it's good to follow the narrative of their proof. BCA is congruent to BDE. BCA is congruent to BDE. BDA. BDE because of angle, side, angle. So let's see, we have an angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. This triple arc corresponds to D here, corresponds to C there. And you see that even over here. The way they wrote it, D is the middle here, and C is the middle there. So they do correspond to each other. That makes sense. This angle, the, or sorry, the side, DE, should correspond to CA. And you see that over here, DE corresponds to CA based on the order it's written. E comes right after D, A comes right after C. And so this seems an angle E should correspond to angle A, and it does. Angle E corresponds to angle A, and it does. So this is completely legitimate. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. It's a little bit hard based on how they're oriented. It would have been easier if they were oriented in the same way. But this is legitimate. By angle, side, angle, these two triangles are, these two triangles are congruent. Then they say something is equal to something because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And this is a little bit harder because they're probably making a statement we just proved that we just proved that we just proved that this triangle right over here is congruent to this triangle up here. And so if we're going to say that two corresponding things are congruent, it's probably two corresponding things in these two triangles. And what can we do? What, what, what is corresponding in these two triangles that will help us get to our end goal of saying that this top triangle is congruent to this bottom one? Well, the only information that the side triangle right over here, B, that BDE shares with the central triangle, is this side. So maybe we can say that this side corresponds to some side up here. And it does, because they're congruent. 
and then that'll give us information for this middle triangle. So let's let's just think about that. And it may or may not be right, but it's a good working it's a good working guess. And there's different ways to tackle these. So this side over here, BE, BE, if we look at how this is, BE should correspond to BA. BE, remember it's between the blue and it's between the blue and the not triple green side. So between the blue and the not triple green side. So these two co should correspond based on the information right over here. So this thing, let me do this in a different color. This thing, this thing should be congruent to that thing right over there. And that gives us interesting information because now we've built up two congruent sides of this middle one and this top one. So let's write that as our as our working thesis of what they want here. So we can say we can say BE 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 is congruent or we could say well we could say the length is equal but we could even say BE is congruent to BA is congruent to BA because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And this is not an easy thing to do, but the real hint is they just told us that these two things are congruent, and we want some information about this middle triangle, and they share a common side here. So it seems reasonable enough. All right, hope, hopefully that gets us to the right end point. Now they tell us that triangle BCA, triangle BCA is congruent to FCE, FCE. And we started at F, we started at B. That's the double angle side. Then you went across this one side, and you went across this side with the magenta marker. So that seems right because of angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Angle, blue angle, double magenta angle, and then the single magenta slash side. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. That seems legitimate, and it should, unless there was some type of error in this code. And then they say, and then they say, AC is congruent to CE because, so AC is congruent to CE. Well, we just figured out, we just figured out that this top triangle is congruent to this one down over here. So it's probably going to be because of corresponding sides of congruent triangles. And we can verify it. If this is congruent to that, then let's see. AC is, AC is between, is between the blue angle and the non-magenta angle. And EC is between the blue angle and the non-magenta angle. I haven't marked it here. And so we have AC. AC is indeed congruent to is indeed congruent to CE. Is indeed congruent to CE. And now this is interesting because we now show that this top and this was useful because this shared a side with this middle triangle that we care about. And so we now show that this top triangle, all the sides have the same length as all the sides down here. And so now we can say, so this was actually useful information that we figured out. So I think that's the, that was the right way to go about it. But now, oh, I need to finish this. AC is congruent to CE. AC is congruent to CE because corresponding parts of corresponding angles. So I'll just write chorus, let me write it in black. And when we actually fill it in, we can, there'll be a pull down. So corresponding, so corresponding parts. Corresponding parts. And then finally, we're in the home stretch. We're ready to say that BCA, this top triangle, is congruent to triangle BCE. All their sides are the same. So this is side, 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 side congruency. So now let's verify our answer. So let's take out the actual exercise. And so let's go down here. And so first, I need to type in, the first thing I want to type in is that BE is equal to BA. So let me type that in, BE is equal to B, and if this is right, it'll actually just, it'll just process it, is equal to B, A, and it is. There you go. B, E, or segment B, E is congruent to A, B. And so that's how we know that we got that right. I wrote it as B, A, but that's the same thing, and that's why it processed it. And then A, C is congruent to C because of corresponding parts. Because of corresponding parts, there you go. And then finally, these two triangles are congruent because of side, side, side. Side, 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 congruence. And now let's verify, let's verify our answer. Let's ver I feel good about it. And I am ready to check my answer. Yes, it is correct.